How's it going, people? I just... Lousy weather. And... Lousy book. So, they kind of go together. Of course, it goes with a lot of things. Alright. Chapter 16 of Mosiah. And... I think there's only one drink in it. I'm considering blasting through chapter 17 afterwards, which is a little thirstier. Skull. Ah, oh, that was nice. And now, it came to pass that after Abinadi had spoken these words, he stretched forth his hand and said, The time shall come when all shall see the salvation of the Lord. We're still waiting. When every nation, kindred, tongue, and people shall see eye to eye and shall confess before God that his judgments are just. That's a confession. No, what it is is a repetition. And then shall the wicked be cast out, and they shall have caused a howl, and a weep, and wail, and gnash their teeth, and this because they would not hearken unto the voice of the Lord. Therefore the Lord redeemeth them not. <laughs> Fuck them. He didn't die for them. Of course, he hasn't died yet. He hasn't been born yet. Uh... For they are carnal and devilish, and a devil has power over them because they're devilish. <laughs> Yay! Even that old serpent that did, did beguile uh, our first parents. And he really fucked up all the snakes, too. Just think, they all got cursed because the devil impersonated one of them. Now, is that fair? I mean, it wasn't a real snake that talks. It was a devil. So God's like, because you look like a snake, I'm cursing all snakes. Good. Yeah, his judgments are just. Fuck you. <laughs> uh, which was the cause of their fall? Which was the cause of all mankind becoming carnal, sensual? devilish, knowing evil from good, subjecting themselves to the devil. But you know, they were tricked before they knew evil from good, so that doesn't wash. They were innocent. They didn't know any better. Thus, all mankind were lost, and behold, they would have been endlessly lost were it not that God redeemed his people from their lost and fallen state. How did he do that, I wonder? But remember that he that persists in his own carnal nature and goes on in the ways of sin and rebellion against God remaineth in his fallen state, and a devil hath all power over him. Therefore, he is as though there were there was no redemption made. It's like it didn't happen, and it hasn't happened yet. I have to keep reminding these gold book guys. <sighs> Therefore, uh, he is as there was no redemption made, being an enemy of God, an uh, enemy to God, and also is the devil an enemy to God. <sighs> and now, if Christ had not come into the world, he hasn't yet. This is, according to the footnote, about B.C. 48. So, if you can believe the Julian calendar, they got 148 years of waiting before he's even born then another 30 plus, 
Like, hurry up and die so you can come back to life. And splatter us with your redeeming blood. No more turtle doves and sheep. <laughs> we have the Lamb of God. Not yet. These fucking prophets. And if Christ had not risen from the dead, had, that's past tense, in B.C. 148, I remind you. That's uh, verse 7 of chapter 16 of Mosiah. They're referring to uh, the death of Christ in past tense before his grandparents were even born. Uh, or have broken the bands of death that the grave should have no victory. I didn't know we were competing with death. I thought death is just inevitable. And that death should have no sting. <laughs> there could have been no resurrection if Christ hadn't died, which he hasn't done yet. But there is a resurrection. It just hasn't happened yet in this book. Therefore, the grave hath no victory, and the sting of death is swallowed up, swallowed up in Christ. <sighs> so much repetition here. He is the light and the life of the world. No, he will be. Hasn't been born yet. <laughs> Yay, a light that is endless, but hasn't started yet. <sighs> that there can be no more death. Even this mortal shall put on immortality, and this corruption shall put on incorruption. You're not even going to rot. Isn't that awesome? And shall be brought to stand before the bar of God, to be judged of him according to their works, wherefore they be good, or whether they be evil. If they be good, to the resurrection of endless life and happiness, sucking that holy butt. <laughs> if they be evil, to the resurrection of endless damnation. Everybody gets to live forever after they die. Have uh, being delivered up to the devil who hath subjected them with which is damnation. That's what it is. Having gone according to their own carnal wills and desires, having never called upon the Lord while the arms of mercy were extended toward them, Hurry up, man. One to a customer. Heavenly hugs. <laughs> For the arms of mercy were extended toward them, and they would not. They being warned of their iniquities, and yet they would not depart from them. And they were con uh, commanded to repent, yet they would not repent. And now, ought ye not to tremble and repent of your sins? And remember that only in and through Christ ye can be saved. Therefore, if ye teach the law of Moses, also teach that it is a shadow of those things which are to come. So basically, pretty temporary. <laughs> teach them that Redemption cometh through Christ, the Lord, who is the very eternal Father. Amen. Now let's uh, proceed on to uh, 17, which is thirsty. And besides, we get to uh, shut the Abinadi up. <laughs> to chapter 17 and Abinadi shutting the fuck up. Besides, then Alma's going to take over, and he's just as boring. And now it came to pass that when Abinadi had finished these sayings, that the king commanded that the priest should take him and cause that he should be put to death. Because he was deadly dull. <laughs> but there 
was one among them whose name was Alma, who can't shut up either, but that's later. Uh, he also being a descendant of Nephi. That prick. <laughs> and he was a young man, and he believed the words which Abinadi had spoken. For he knew concerning the iniquity which Abinadi had testified against them. Therefore he began to plead with the king that he would not be angry with Abinadi, but suffered that he might depart in peace. But the king was more wroth, and caused that Alma should be cast out from among them, and set his servants after him, that they might slay him. Oh, that's kind of cool, like the world's de the, the, the most deadly game. <laughs> yeah, you can go. Hunt him down. <laughs> but he fled from before them, and hid himself that they founded him not. And he, being concealed for many days, did write all the words which Abinadi had spoken. So he was keeping notes. That's why we have such an, an accurate record here. And it came to pass that the king caused that his guard should surround Abinadi and take him, and they bound him and cast him into prison. And after three days, having counseled with his priests, boy, they're pissed, they <laughs> still steamed, he caused that he should again be brought before him. And he said unto, and he said unto him, Abinadi, we have found an accusation against thee, and thou art worthy of death. For thou hast said that God himself should come down among the children of men, and now for this cause thou shalt be put to death, unless thou wilt recall all the words which thou hast spoken evil concerning me and my people. Now Abinadi said unto him, I say unto you, I will not recall the words which I have spoken unto you concerning this people, for they are true, and that ye may know of their surety I have suffered myself that I have fallen into your hands. Yeah, just like Jesus, it was all planned. He could have gotten out of that situation if he wa wanted to. He just didn't want to. Yeah, so we'll never know if that's true or not but highly doubtful. Yea, and I will suffer even until death. These martyrs. Seventy-two virgins right here. If they were offering seventy-two sluts, man, strap a bomb to my ass. But seventy-two virgins? God, you just make heaven sound so boring. Church forever, and you're surrounded by virgins at I guess have to stay that way. Or they're not virgins, huh? Or are they renewable virgins? <laughs> I mean, what? You use one, she vanishes, and is replaced with a new one? I mean... <sighs> what if you really liked one of them? What, what? Oh, damn. Oh, she's gone now. Here's another one. <laughs> Besides, it won't get any better that way. <laughs> and I will not recall my words, and I and they shall stand as a testimony against you. And if ye slay me, ye will shed innocent blood, and this shall also stand as a testimony against you at the last day. And now King Noah was about to release him, for he feared his words. <laughs> for he feared that the judgments of God would come upon him. But the priests 
lifted up their voice against him and began to accuse him, saying, He has reviled the king. Therefore the king was stirred up in anger against him, and he delivered him up that he might be slain. <sighs> and it came to pass that they took him and bound him and scourged his skin with faggots. <sighs> Yea, even unto death. And now... And now when the flames began to scorch him, he cried unto them, saying... Yeah, now they're burning him with flaming faggots. Behold... Even as ye have done this, it shall come to pass. Excuse me. We'll get back to Al Abinadi's barbecue in a minute. He had to say the magic phrase. And it wasn't open sesame, but it was about as factual. So it shall come to pass, this is Abinadi talking, that thy seed shall cause that many shall suffer even the pains of death by fire. And this because they believe in the salvation, and this because they believe in the salvation of the Lord their God. Okay. Maybe another drink will lift the fog and I'll understand what the fuck that meant. Ah. Yeah, chapter 17's a winner. And it will come to pass that ye shall be afflicted with all manner of diseases because of your iniquities and you're burning my ass. <sighs> Benedict is starting to smell nice. Kind of like a Christmas ham. <laughs> Yea, and ye shall be smitten on every hand. Good thing you only have two apiece. And shall be driven and scattered to and fro even as a wild flock is driven by wild and ferocious beasts. He doesn't have anything new to say. And in that day ye shall be hunted, and ye shall be taken by the hands of your enemies, and then ye shall suffer as I have, as I suffer, the pains of death by fire. He's saying that while he's on fire, by the way. <laughs> Thus God executeth vengeance upon those that destroy his people. O oh God, receive my soul! And now when Abinadi had said these words, he fell, having suffered death by fire. Yea, having been put to death, because he would not deny the commandments of God, having sealed the truth of his words with his death. Thank God he's fucking gone. Now we have to deal with Alma. And believe me, you're going to be hearing a lot from that prick. I will see you guys in chapter 18. Peace the fuck out and have a wonderful whatever it is you might be having at this moment I want it to be as good as possible because I'm just that way